So my wife has asked me to fold the clothes and I have also promised her that I am going to go and fold the clothes. But now there are two possibilities that either I will go and fold the clothes or either I won't fold the clothes and do something else. But by this time my wife is not going to wait over here seeing that I am doing the work or not. She just assigns me the task and goes away and does whatever she wants to. So that is the same with the promise as well. Now here the wife assigning me the task can be considered as an LWC component. Whereas the person who was doing the task like me let's consider it as a sales force. So while the LWC component assigns some task to sales force LWC component does not wait for the request or the response from the sales force. Instead does whatever it was doing without bothering of the response from the sales force. Let's look at the practical example of the same. Now before we move to a coding example, I would like to announce you guys that I have launched a lightning web component masterclass and this is a no bullshit lightning web masterclass. This means that everything within this masterclass will be actually used in your day to day life. Okay, I have only included things which will be used in your day to day life. And one of the great things about this masterclass is that I have taught things and along with that I have also given small mini projects and tasks so that you understand where these concepts are useful. Okay, so right now the price of the course is around 499 rupees. It can further ahead increase as I keep on adding the videos because I have just added 17 videos now but I will keep on adding more and more videos and it can go beyond 25 videos. Okay, so for now the price is 499 it can further increase so I would suggest go ahead and grab your link right now so that you have access to all the videos that I'll upload in the future. So let's get started with our actual video. Okay so just like our real world example or the coding uh, the example that I've shown in my video my wife was asking me to fold the clothes. Now either I will fold the clothes or either I won't fold the clothes right. So here what I've done is just to demonstrate it I have created a button and on click of the button what I'm doing is I have created a button uh, if I show you I've created a button and on click of the button I am making an apex call to the folding clothes this is an apex clause learning per promise controller okay learning promise controller I'm making an apex call which is just returning a string that's clothes are folded okay so I'm making an apex call and now there are two possibilities either I will get that the close has been folded that the string that I was returning or either I will get an error. This means I was playing games in a, a real world example or the example that I gave. Right. So now here when when I click on the button, right, as soon as I click on the button, there will be a call made to an apex like this folding clothes. We are making a call to an apex, but LWC does not wait over here. When it makes a call, there's a possibility that we might get a return. We might get written immediately or in the future as well. It can depend. It can vary. So LWC does not wait over here. Instead, it keeps on doing the task it was doing or whatever pending task it was doing. And as soon as it gets the response, the control comes back over here. Okay. Now, whenever you're going to get the response back, there can be two conditions to it. Okay. Either you can get a successful message or either you will get an error message as well as you are seeing over here. This means either I've folded the clothes or either I was just playing the games. I was playing a game. So there are two possibilities. Either I, I will get the successful response or either I won't. So in very simple terms, promise is nothing but it's something that you might not get immediately or LWC makes a request and does not wait for it. And when it gets the response back to you, either it can be success or either it can be error as well. And that is a promise. So this is what I had to explain about the promise. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.